Number five, Chris Ochenvall. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Social Development. What parenting support has the government recently made available to grandparents who are raising their grandchildren? The Hon. Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, grandparents raising their grandchildren do a truly remarkable job. To support them in their parenting role, we ask the Parent Centre to tailor a version of their toolbox parenting programme. The resource includes nine hours of practical parenting advice on DVD with a manual which carers can work their own way through at, uh, at home. Well, I know the other side didn't do much with them, so I'm trying to catch up. Um, the Parent Centre, in partnership with grandparents, raising um, grandchildren trust will be sending the material out to over 5,000 grandparents. Chris Ochenvall. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary to the Minister, how else has the government supported grandparents who are raising their grandchildren? Mm. The Honourable Paula Bennett. Um, the majority of grandparents raising grandchildren do so without the involvement of child, youth and family. For these families, this government has taken a number of small but significant steps to provide further support. We have raised the main payment grandparents can receive to match the rate of those made to CYF carers, matching the unsupported child orphans benefit to the foster care allowance. And we've provided 500 respite care places a year for grandchildren and week-long holiday health camps. Jacinda Ardern. Given many grandparents are raising grandchildren on their pension alone, will she consider treating them as full foster carers, as is Labor's policy, which also provide them with greater support than classifying them as carers of unsupported children? If not, why not? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, most of that grandparents are not raising them on super alone. They are eligible, as I stated, for the unsupported child or the orphan's benefit. No, well, the, the member did actually say that they were raising children, uh, children just on their super, whereas actually they are um, generally eligible for um, the unsupported child benefit, which this government actually matched to the foster care rate. Uh, Point of order, Jacinda. Ardern. I just wanted to clarify, Mr. Speaker, that uh, I did not. Order, order. No, no, order. I heard the question very clearly, and the member said I had a question. Given that many grandparents are raising their, their raising uh, children on their on their benefit alone, uh, I heard her. On my ear, I know my hearing's not good, but I heard that, and the minister heard that, and uh, and if the minister wanted, to, if the member just wanted to ask the question about the payment to uh, a payment as, as normal foster parents or whatever to those grandparents, she should have asked the question. Forgive me, the minister and I both heard the same question, and uh, and and I I've clearly heard the member start her question that way. Chris Ockenvold. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the minister, can the minister update the house? on the other parenting initiatives developed as part of the 2011 budget. The Honourable Paula uh, Mr Speaker, Budget 2011 supported investment for a number of parenting initiatives in conjunction with um, the Parent Centre. Funding has been provided to deliver and enhance the Toolback Box programme, specifically to child, youth and family caregivers, whānau, Pacifica, grandparents and kin carers, progressively delivering the Toolbox to 3,700 extra parents and caregivers for free for them over the next three years, also for research and evaluation and to increase the number of volunteers and facilitators um, to deliver and coordinate the program. Question number six, Charles Chavez.